All right, what's up, folks? Rich Fantastic with you, giving you the recap of last night's game. Atlanta with the 24-21 victory over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Falcons are now 9-5. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers dropped to 4-10. Been a real disappointing year for the Buccaneers. Matt Ryan, 17 of 31, 212 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. Devontae Freeman was the top rusher, 22 carries, 126, 5.7 per rush. Terran Ward, 8 of 45 yards per rush. Matt Ryan, 3 of 29, 9.7 yards per rush. I swear, it looked like Matt Ryan ran for about six first downs at one stretch there. The team, 35 of 201, 5.7 yards per rush. The touchdown by Freeman. And, of course, you didn't have Coleman in the game. Devontae Freeman was the top receiver 5 of 68 julio jones 3 of 54 justin hardy 2 of 33 with the touchdown Devonte freeman fumbled twice did not lose any of them keanu newell recovered a fumble the team had two sacks one was split between adrian claiborne and grady jarrett Takaris mckinley had the other there were no interceptions andre roberts four kick returns 108 yards 27 yard average longest of 31 that's pretty good andre roberts 2 of 17 in his punt returns and Matt Bryant was one for two in his field goals. He made a 57-yarder, and one was blocked. Did he make that 57? He must have. Yeah, because he only attempted two, and the other one was blocked, and that was not 57 yards. So, uh, obviously critical in a 24-21 game. For the Buccaneers, Jameis Winston, 27 of 35, 299 yards, three touchdowns, no interception. Peyton Barber, 13 carries, 53 yards, 4.1 per rush. Jameis Winston, 3 of 18, 6 yards per rush. The team, 18 of 84, 4.7 yards per rush. You see a big difference in the running games. Mike Evans, 5 of 79, receiving one touchdown. Cameron Brait, 4 of 49. Adam Humphreys, 5 of 43, a touchdown. O.J. Howard, 1 of 30, and a touchdown. Peyton Barber lost the fumble. Jameis Winston fumbled. It was not lost. The team had one sack. It was Clinton McDonald. No interceptions. Chuck Wiz Rogers, two kick returns, 62 yards. That's a 31-yard average, but a longest of 45. However, obviously ballooning the numbers. Two punt returns for 30 yards. That's a 15-yard average, longest of 19. That's pretty good. Patrick Murray missed his only field goal attempt. It was a 54-yarder, I think, as the time expired for Atlanta to get the victory. So Atlanta still plugging along there um, in the wild card and in the NFC South chase. Obviously, those teams have to play each other. Tampa Bay plays a huge role because they play uh, all those teams. Of course, now they've played Atlanta, so they got to play Carolina. And then New Orleans moving down the stretch. Very good running game by the Atlanta Falcons today. Tampa Bay's uh, defense was a little, in, I should say, uh, they were a lot injured, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. You had a guy missing, uh, Levitre, off the offensive line, so you have to, I, I don't want to take anything away from Atlanta, but, you know, with missing one of your starting offensive linemen, you still ran the ball that way against a really bad or not bad, but certainly injured defense. You got to take it with a grain of salt. I think Atlanta can still run the ball effectively, even against good defenses. I'm just saying those numbers are obviously inflated a bit because of that. For the Buccaneers, it's been a disappointing year. I don't know how much the fact that they didn't have or they had their bye week, week one, didn't have it late in the season. Uh, they were struggling even a little before that I think that just really threw that team off somewhat you had the Doug Martin situation as well all of his issues now you've had injuries moving forward so this was a team with high expectations they still have a lot of talent on this team uh, on both sides of the ball you have guys like Gerald McCoy Levante David they are very good defensive players you have Jameis Winston Doug Martin if he can ever get his act together Mike Evans though is sensational you draft OJ Howard so uh, things happen like this for the Buccaneers. Sometimes the season gets away from you. I think a combination of all things have contributed to just, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't use the term perfect storm because it was a hurricane at the beginning of the year, but that's sort of how it went down. So be sure to stay tuned for the injury reports and anything else that comes across. And remember, we appreciate all subscriptions. Thank you.